You're very naughty chewing the microphone, you'll get into trouble, won't you, hey? Hi, I'm Carl Anderson of Cougar Gun Dogs. Let's talk about this big subject of do gun dogs make good, good pets? Of course they make good pets. They make fabulous pets. How do we get them to be a good pet or a good working dog? We work this in here, the mind. That's what we have to do. When we get these little dogs home, it really starts then. So you pick your little puppy up, you bring it home and most people, not everyone, but most people want to invite everybody round and the puppy jumps up and it gets fussed and it gets treats and the people go out and buy balls and little stuffed pheasants and toys and there's a, there's a toy box there, you know? And that's really the wrong way for, the, for these little dogs. If we, if we just go back a little bit and we, we get the puppy home and we put it in its crate, if you want to crate train, and we let it settle first and once it's settled we, we, we take it out and we toilet train it so we take it out every hour where possible so it goes out in the yard we carry it out it does its toilet comes back in we give it a little fuss and we put it in and maybe we want to sit on the kitchen floor or wherever you you are in the house and roll a little ball and, and work its mind it's called the chase and that's really good for the working side of dogs when somebody comes round to see the puppy, leave the puppy in the crate, let, let the atmosphere settle down, and then let the puppy out for a few minutes. And, and try and put it on a little lead so it doesn't jump up all the time. And then you condition it to how you want it. But if it's, if it's so lively and it's exposed to all this excitement, um, a Springer Spaniel or a Cocker Spaniel, it wouldn't be long before it's running around a settee, climbing the curtains on the fireplace. My God, I've seen the destruction it would be. So simple steps will put us, put us a long way. Um, little William here, he's five months old, he's, he's now eating the microphone, so we better stop that. Um, but he's a joy, you know. Is he going to be a working dog? Is he going to be a pet? We'll find out when, when he goes to his new home. You know, we will train these dogs up till they're uh, maybe a year old and then they'll, they'll go to the, their new home. But they'll all be placid and lovely to walk, lovely to sit and everything else. If you've got a working dog, you've, you've bought a working, a, a Labrador or a Spaniel and you want to work it, don't suppress it too much. Let it be a puppy. Let it get that little bit of mischief before you say in sit, stay, wait, retrieve, heal, come here. Let them be a puppy. Let them walk around the garden with you. Let them follow you. If they go more than a few yards away, call the name, turn round and run the other way. Your movement will make them come with you. And it's really educate them. You can, you can then drop a little ball and walk away and send them back for it. All these little things will slowly build it in and keep the puppy in and around you. You're very naughty chewing the microphone, you'll get into trouble, won't you, hey? Um, and just sitting here, like I'm sitting here with William, he's a big old lump to be having on your on your your knee, but he's liking it, he's enjoying it. Just very, very placid. And whether he went down here on the floor, he would just have a little sniff around and probably come back in for this, this loving. But this is a Labrador. Most people say Labradors <coughs> come half trained. Um, I think it's just a saying, because some of them are, are, are quite charming characters. You know, especially if you get that, that feisty breeding in them. Um, but they do train up a lot easier than Spaniels. They, they don't want to get up to the mischief of Spaniels or Pointers or various other gun dogs. So just by them few simple little steps, slowing things down when your puppy comes home or and not trying too hard, you, you know, when, when they come home, don't say sit. Don't say stay. We, we've all heard it. Oh, I've got a, a three month old puppy and it can sit and it can stay. Everything else, it, it's too much too young, you know, or you put them in the field um, at a year old. It, it, it's too much too young. So what we have to do is just slow things down, enjoy it and, and get them on the right path, you know, constantly. Um, and so they do make absolutely stunning pets pets take them in the car with you everyday life these little dogs need to fit into your life how it is some households like our households is absolutely crazy but we keep the dogs under control 
um, some households that are nice and quiet and just get that dog to fit in keep it in a crate for a few weeks and then bring the bed outside and ask it to sit on its bed and educate it to go to its bed and it won't be done in five minutes it'll take a period of time to get it to sit in it in one place but dogs especially working dogs will sit and stay for long periods of time if we follow these guidelines and these are just a, a few little things this topic we could talk about for for hours and hours and hours um, and, and there's been many debates on it, you know, they make awful, gun dogs make awful pets, they make good pets. Absolutely fabulous pets if we just slow down, train the dog, you know, don't have too many toys around. If you've got, if you, you, you're always running to the shop and you're buying a, a little pheasant or a ball and they've got these big piles of, of toys, the next thing they're going to do is have a slipper or they're going to start nibbling at the kitchen or running off with a shoe and start chewing things. All they really need is a favourite little toy to roll around um, and maybe a deer antler for chewing. Deer antlers are great, they can, they can chew on them um, till the heart's content and then, then hopefully they're not going to turn, you know, chew the kitchen. If they do chew the kitchen, there's plenty of things you can start putting down if they're a chewer, but if they're in a crate, you won't have that problem. Um, so again, it's following little guides and being realistically of, of what we can have um, and slowly slowly teaching them make it fun go out with them get on the ground play with them you've seen in our other videos I get on my knees and I play with them and I let them run in um, what are you doing eh? let them run in and I'm really really soft with them and, and we play all these little games with them we go hunting we put balls in long grass we throw balls in the woods we go in the woods with them um, we play little games in the chick with the chickens. If the kids are out on the lawn and they're, and they're playing football, we just sit the dog there and you know put them on a lead and just accept it. That's what's going to happen. You know, we, we try and take them to busy places whenever we can. Um, we socialise them with other dogs and just really slow things down and enjoy them. And if you if you follow them guidelines, you're not going to be one of the people what rings us up at. Um, when the puppy's eight months old, in tears, they can't control it. It's off, it's gone over the fields, it's chasing this, it's chasing that. Or on the other hand, where if you, if you work in the dog, you've been that strict on it, um, you've suppressed it and you've took all the drive out of it. Don't you eat that now, he's always after eating something. You've took all the drive out of it and then you need to go to a trainer to try and put drive into it. It's almost sometimes as if you've got a, a, a a family who want a gun dog as a pet, who train it one way and let it do whatever it wants and it comes unruly and you put all this lovely drive into it. And then you've got another family who want it for working um, and try too hard and suppress it and take all the drive out of it. It really wants reversing if that makes sense, whereas get in the mind of a young dog and, and enjoy it and keep it close and then you can teach it to sit um, with its food if you, if you want. I don't like to treat trade but a, a bowl of food you can you can do wonders with and just just get it to be in and with you close all the time whereas if you want it for working let it be that bit more unruly don't let it run off don't let it go too far but just throw a ball let it chase it don't expect it to sit there and um, wait for a retrieve every time just put that little bit of naughtiness in it cheekiness it's called character building and the, these, this will go a long way. Um, I hope this video's helped. I'm sure th this topic I could go on for hours and hours and hours and there'll be, there'll be lots of comments and one thing and another. Send your comments in. We'll, we'll try and answer whatever we can. But just give it some thought when you get a new puppy or the, or the dog you've got. Get inside this brain, the very intelligent dogs, and, and work the mind. Thank you for watching.